Thank you very much for uh, coming for this lecture. Hans, I see that you've moved from the back to front. Thank you very much. I wish one day I'll see you here. No, 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 when, 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 when you are ready, when you are ready, when you are ready. Yeah, great. So we will, uh, we will continue with our discussion from what we have uh, talked about the other class. So today we are, we will start with a meditation session so that you are relaxed throughout the class. I'll, again, as usual, as I told you, we'll be talking about the emotional intelligence framework. I'll be repeating this until you guys are very comfortable with it. And uh, today I'm going to put more effort on the accurate self-assessment. So let's first have the meditation. Okay, so, so, so guys, you need to really uh, stay, with, stay with me, stop chatting. Yes, close your computers, close your mobile phones, get relaxed and comfortable. For the first meditation, get comfortable, but not too comfortable. You want to avoid falling asleep. Loosen your belt and any tight clothing. You don't have to sit in a yoga pose to meditate. A straight back chair will do fine or anywhere you can sit comfortably while your back is supported. Sit up straight, but relaxed. Keep your head, neck, and spine aligned as though a large helium balloon were lifting your head upward. Keeping your head upright will help your mind stay more alert, and alertness is essential in meditation. Close your eyes and keep them closed until the session has ended. Of course, it goes without saying that if you're driving, you shouldn't close your eyes or even try to meditate at all. Keep your attention on the road. Okay. With your eyes closed, let's begin. Start by bringing your awareness to your breathing, to the natural flow of your breath as it comes and goes through your nostrils, or to the rise and fall of your belly as you breathe. Don't follow your breath into your body or out into the air. Just be aware of it as it comes and goes through your nostrils, or as your belly rises and falls. Be sensitive to the actual sensations of your breath, to the movement of air, to its warmth, to whatever you feel. Don't try to control your breath. Just be aware of it as you breathe in and out. If your breath gets more shallow, let it be shallow. If it gets faster or slower, let it. The breath regulates itself. While you meditate, your job is simply to be aware of it. Whenever you notice that your mind has wandered, gently bring it back to your breath. During this meditation, your contract with yourself is that everything other than your breath, thoughts, plans, memories, sounds, sensations, are distractions. Let go of your other thoughts. Whatever comes into your mind besides your breath is for now a distraction. Don't blame yourself if your mind wanders. It's only natural. Just gently bring your focus back to your breath each time. Try to be aware of each breath for its full duration. The entire in-breath, the entire out-breath. To help keep your mind fixed on your breath, you can silently label each inhalation and exhalation with a quiet mental note. In on the in-breath, out on the out-breath if you're watching it at the nostrils. 
or rising on the in-breath and falling on the out-breath if you're watching the breath at your belly. Let the noting be like a quiet background whisper in your mind, very soft. Stay in touch with the actual experience of breathing, not merely the repetition of the words. Be fully aware of each inhalation and each exhalation. Whenever your mind wanders away, gently bring it back to your breath. Let your breath come and go at its own natural rhythm. If it's fast or slow, deep or shallow, just be aware of it without interfering. Watch the entire in-breath the entire out-breath. In, out, rising, falling. Stay alert and aware. In, out, rising, falling. Watch each breath the whole breath. Whenever your mind wanders, gently bring it back to your breath. Now take a moment just to be with your body, noticing just how you feel. When you feel ready to stop, open your eyes. Now let's, let's do the uh, feedback session through the Twitter. How did you find it? Okay, just let us, let us, let us know how, how did you, what did you feel? Now, now there is, there's a reason why I'm asking you to give some feedback now, because that if you are feeling good, if you have experienced any benefit, you need to anchor this by labeling it, by putting a name for it, so that you could, your brain could recall that experience. And, and, and you could see I'm investing quite a bit of time in this each and every class, and I really wanna see whether this is something that we should continue or we should stop and we just allow you to do it on your own if you wish. Because I noticed that some of you don't really, very few, but don't really follow. So if this is not of a benefit to you, then we could do something maybe more beneficial to the entire class. Anyone wants to share anything by 
words by saying something. Uh, this is the second time you do uh, this exercise, the third time you do the, me the meditation. Uh, any difference between the first time and the second time? Um, after I've been doing the meditation, I feel like I'm a bit more at rest. Like my, I feel like I have, I'm able to get my thoughts more organized and uh, feel how exactly like what I'm actually feeling instead of just like a rough description of done. So I feel like I'm more at, co at rest, uh, calm uh, compared to before. Right. So what I picked is you felt calm, at rest, and you felt organized. Good, good, good. Yeah, so, so, so there's that awareness of what's happening rather than something messy up, up there. You know, we, 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 we talked about meditation being a tool for awareness first, that we know what's happening. Then hopefully that will help us to, to manage ourselves. Anyone would like to comment on any difference between first time and second time? You see, if this is, if this is a useful tool, for you to deal with, with stress, what I would like to suggest is, you know, if you continue doing it, you will reach a stage where you can actually do it without even listening to the audio. You regulate yourself, you select your breathing, and then you, you just do it. And you could do it for as long as you want until you attain the state that you are uh, wanting to attain. So anyone would like to comment on the difference between the first, second, third time? Yeah, everyone is just paying attention here, right? Okay, so anyone wants to say anything? Written. Okay, so we just read it there. So this is for uh, Nor. What's your name? Norli. Nor. What's this? Fall asleep during meditation. Come, everyone, clap for me. <laughs> Did you wake her up? Oh, you're still asleep, or you woke up? Okay, because of the clapping. Wide awake. Wide awake. Okay, Let, let's come back. I'll seek, I'll seek your feedback using the Twitter later. So again, we said there are four um, elements for the emotional intelligence framework. It all starts with the self-awareness and move to the realm or self-management and social awareness. And hopefully will eventually lead us to relationship management, which is a hallmark of successful people in project management, in uh, having senior posts, uh, in teamwork, and in, in literally everything that is uh, sought after and required by the challenges of the 21st century. And since the beginning of the semester, if you recall, we have been always working on talking about emphasizing, repeating the importance of self-awareness. And uh, there we have this My Emotions Today section to help you with the emotional awareness. And also we talked about using the brain rewiring for self-motivation. And um, I also promised to introduce some other tools uh, to you. So today I'm going to talk again about emotional awareness. We said we do this through describing our emotions on a daily basis and having the adjective, the tag, the, the, the word to describe them. The more you do them, the better you'll be at that. 
Self-motivation, if you recall, we talked about brain rewiring, and today I'm going to talk about two more things, searching for meaning and storytelling. So I'm going to introduce these two uh, new concepts to you, and then I'm going to talk about the accurate self-assessment, and um, I'll have a bit uh, more about, about this uh, in a short while. So in self-motivation, to, to motivate ourselves, to be motivated to do whatever we need to do, there are uh, techniques. And it's all about being aware of what's happening in, in our mind. Now, it's very difficult, maybe next to impossible, that you, through your journey in life, that you'll always get to do only the things that you like. There will be times where you do a foundation in engineering program. You like everything, but maybe you don't like the emotional intelligence part of it. But this is a package. You have to do that part because it's a requirement. So what should you do when you are asked to do a task or you, are, you find yourself in a position to do something that maybe you are not that motivated to do. So that's what I'm going to talk about. Before this, I would like to uh, ask you examples of something that you actually don't necessarily enjoy doing. And also examples of things that you really look forward to, you enjoy doing. So let's start with the things that you like to do. Yes, Hans. It's like uh, every weekend I go party and stuff. Party. Party. You like to party. Yes. So, so, so this is something you, you, I don't need to motivate you. If I say there's party, then you just go for it. Good. What else? Something different? Playing sports. Playing sport. What, and what sport do you play? Basketball, so football, when... badminton, and others. <laughs> right. Okay. Wow. wow. Ping pong. Wow. So, so playing sport, you don't feel anyone needs to tell you uh, uh, go. Whenever my friends call me to go, I will go. You will go. Yeah. yeah. yeah just as simple as that. So let's stay with you. So why wh wh why do you like that? Why? You, there is, so you go there, will you, will you sweat? Of course. Yeah, so you'll sweat. So this is, this is really like, it's not an, a, necessarily a simple thing. This is, it's hot, you will sweat, it's, it's, it's hard, yet you, you like it. Why? I find it fun. You if find you it fun? It, when you do it with friends. When you do it with friends. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, so, so it's fun. It, it brings you with, with friends. Okay. Can you tell me more? I mean, I'm just, I know this is not the easiest of questions, but why do you think it's fun? I think mostly it's the objective of the game you're playing or the sports. Okay. More? If you find it, if you find uh, something that's interesting, you want to do it, right? So if you do something that is not, then why do you want to do it? Right. So, so there is an objective that you want to achieve. Maybe you want to win the game with your friends. And that, that is something means something to you. Basically, what I do is enjoy the game and have fun with my friends. Right. And, 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 and try and, to win the game also. And you try to win the game as well. OK, great. Uh, any, anyone else wants to share with us something that he or she enjoys? Uh, yeah. Skating or surf or surfing, skating or snowboarding. Skating, surfing, yes. And, 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 and why is that? What does it mean to you? I find it relaxing. Re relaxing, yeah. 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 So this is something that you feel you achieve yourself through. Yeah. You, something that you are good at, you become good at. Great. Any, anything else? Playing pool, yes. Yeah. So please just pass the, uh, pass the mic, please. Playing pool. Playing pool. So can you say more? Why? Why do you enjoy it? Why you are motivated to do it? Um, I don't know. I guess it depends on the person as well. I personally find pool fun and I can make new friends through pool and I can bond with old friends through pool. Right. Playing pool as well. So, so it, it, 
it's something that you enjoy, it brings you with your friends, uh, there is a sense of achievement. Yes, it's, it's a, <clears throat> and if you win, it's, it's sort of a sense of achievement, but uh, no hard feelings for the other team. It's like, it's like a win-win situation, you know? Like, right. So, so yeah. yeah. Okay, so I hear winning, uh, achieving object, uh, aligning. I've, I've noticed maybe apart from, is, is, is your uh, game has um, a social element into it or it's? Yes, I would say it is a social. So there is also like brings few people together of a similar yeah. interest. Yeah, who else want to say something about the things that you like? Okay, so people have said things there. Photography, who said, who said photography? Skadesh. Yes, uh, here, here, He's, he wants to say something. Someone's talking? Someone's talking there? Yeah. <laughs> Not the photography you are thinking of. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so, well, so for, say, please, please, this is, guys, please stay with us, stay with me, this is important. Yes, so, um, well, what does it mean to you? Why you have fun with photography? Uh, it's just fun taking photography because uh, sometimes you can capture epic moments and I love sceneries. Um, <laughs> yes. So, so, so it, it, it makes you feel that you've achieved something. Have you got any specific pictures that you are proud of, you put online? Um, I don't know. I just have to check from my collections. And right. Okay. Very good. Can you tell me an example of something that you don't really enjoy? Waking up early for school. Yeah. Waking up early for class. Waking up early for class. Or waking up early in general. No, but you see, you see, if... Guys, stay with me. I, I want you to stay with me. So if you need to wake up early to play pool, will you do that? Yes. Well, it depends on the situation. Let's say if it were a friend that I haven't seen for a while, then I might consider, but... Okay, so, so let's put it like this. Waking up early on its own is not necessarily a bad thing. The reason why you wake up early, the motivation behind it, behind it will make all the difference. Yes. That, does that make sense? Yes, that makes, that makes sense. Okay, great. So it means waking up early is just an event. What I'm going to do next is what will drive the meaning behind me waking up. And if after waking up, I anticipate a lot of fun, things that I'm looking forward to, have you ever been in a situation where because you are so looking forward what's for what is going to happen tomorrow you don't even sleep or you wake up even before the alarm clock because you are really looking forward that okay so this is this is a very interesting i really thank you very much for for, for this because this is exactly what i'm trying to reach here everything that's that we are doing Guys, please stay with me. Everything that we are doing is enjoyable or it motivates us as much as it has a meaning for us. So if, if waking up means that I'm going to meet people, fun people, friends that I haven't met for some time, then waking up becomes an enjoyable thing. If waking up means I have to come for a class where Mushtaq is going to force me to do this and that, maybe it's a different story. And I fully understand that. Now, where is the part that we can... Okay, before, before I say this, so comparing you doing something that you enjoy, you play basketball or, or soccer, or whatever, you, you, you are having a physical uh, activity, you are, um, you are sweating, you are putting the effort, but you are enjoying it. When you compare this to doing something that where also you, are, you have to, to put the effort, whether physical or mental, but you are not enjoying it, which state do you prefer to be? 
So you, are, you prefer to be in the first state. You prefer to do something that you enjoy. Now, how can we make everything that we do enjoyable? Play pool everywhere. Yes. <laughs> if you want, you can install pool tables. How come? <laughs> okay. So, so you see, that's 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 exactly it. So, for example, if I want this to motivate you, I will have to install pool table everywhere, and maybe uh -huh. you will be coming. Very good point. Very good point. But you know, the interests of people are so diverse. I won't be able to have the surfing uh, uh, field for him the soccer uh, or basketball for him is going to be very difficult. Now, what about us? How can we make the activities that we do meaningful to us so that we can motivate ourselves to look forward to them? I think it really depends on the individual, yes. not more on what we can do for them on what they can do for themselves. Right. So on my opinion is to change their mindset and to think of the positives that you're going to face. Right. When you wake up and come to class rather than right. think of it being a boring class. Okay. So now let's pick this case. So now you are waking up in the morning. You don't seem to look forward to it, but you have to wake up anyway. So what would you do? What would you tell yourself so that you make waking up an enjoyable thing? Uh, for everybody. So this is, this is a question for everybody. You could, you could uh, uh, I prefer that you could tell me, but if you want, you can put it on, uh, I don't know whether we can get this Twitter feed also for the online students to, to see. We are having a Twitter feed. So do you understand the question? I have to wake up early. What time do you, ha do you have to wake up? Okay, so the earliest? Seven. You, but you, you would like to wake up at 10 if possible, right? Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Yeah, okay. So, take, take this. Yeah. So, you, you have to wake up at 7, but if it's up to you, you would like to wake up at 10. Yeah, but I'm not complaining. Right. But, however, there are times that you have to wake up at 7 or maybe earlier. Yeah. So, what, what would you tell yourself to make it enjoyable to wake up at 7? You are coming to school. Try to see the positives in it. So instead, so, of saying, so instead of saying, oh, I've got to go to school and I have to do the physics assignment, I see, <laughs> I see, um, <laughs> I, I can see, I don't know, I, <laughs> oh. um, I can try to see the positive in it, so I can say, all right, if I come to class, then maybe I have a better chance of becoming an engineer when I'm older and whatnot. Yeah. I can learn new things. Right. So, so, so you would say this is something that I need so that I become an engineer maybe one day. What else? What else we can say to ourselves to motivate ourselves to come to the school in the morning? Uh, I've, noticed, I've noticed that some of, some of you, quite a number of you, are posting uh, images of the campus on, on open learning. Okay. Wh whenever you put an image on the campus, I've noticed the online students say, wow, this is great. This is wonderful. You guys are so lucky to have such a good place. So maybe that's also something for us to think of. You know, we are, you are going to maybe a nice place or you're going to meet your friends. Now, let me ask you a question. Uh, any one of you have cleaned toilet? Yes. Yes. You've cleaned toilet. Who has cleaned toilet? Okay. No, not you have a clean toilet. You have cleaned <laughs> the toilet yourself. <laughs> have you cleaned yes. toilet? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. I, I want to have a conversation. Can I have a conversation with you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, both of you. Yeah, we start with you. Okay. Okay. So you you you, you have you have cleaned the toilet, please, guys. Please stay stay here. Yes. So was it an enjoyable thing? Honestly. Uh, you have to do it anyway. Yes. So it's not enjoyable. It's not enjoyable. Yeah. Now, how do you make 
the washing toilet an enjoyable thing? You have to do it. You say you have to do it anyway. But how do you make it enjoyable? Uh, when you're done, you will feel more enjoyable. Right. So, so maybe when I start cleaning the toilet, instead of thinking of the toilet now, I think of the end result. So this is going to be a shiny toilet, a nice toilet, uh, a nice to use toilet and things like that. And that provides that meaning behind whatever we are doing. Now, I want you to keep on Cash, stay with us. So what I want you to do, please, is to start thinking every time you have an, you have an activity or, or something that you are not looking forward to and you have no way of avoiding it or sometimes you know it's good. You know cleaning the toilet is something that you have to do. It's going to be eventually good for you, but it's very difficult to motivate yourself to do it. It's maybe to have an image of a, a shiny, clean toilet. Uh, if this is something that uh, maybe it's very difficult for you to relate to this, but for people who have children, you say, wow, this is going to be something great where my kids are going to use. It's a healthy place for them. It smells nice. Uh, uh, if this is a, a toilet where you have maybe some visitors who will be using it, you say, okay, my guests are going to you know, have a nice experience. They'll have a good impression about me. So whatever happening to us, if we can assign a positive meaning to it, then this is going to be very helpful to us to, to motivate ourselves to do. So this is what I, what I say, uh, what I meant when I put uh, searching for meaning. Any, any question or comment about the uh, searching for meaning part? Who likes movies? Everyone likes movies. Okay. We actually, there, there's a, do you know why we like movies? Why? Why we enjoy them? You enjoy drama, that's cash. But why do we enjoy the, why, why we like movies? We, sh you are attracted to the actor. But besides that, who said story? We actually like stories. So, and there is a reason why we like stories. Because our brain always tells stories. This is how we learn. This is how we make sense of, 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 of the world. Now, the storytelling is a very uh, important aspect of self-motivation. So I, I, I give you an example. If I come to the class and no one of you is here, nobody. So I, came, I come on time and there's no student around here. So that's just an, just, this is just an event. This is just an incident. It has, it has no meaning on its own. So I come, there are no students. Now, I will start to think. And thinking is, in a way, creating a story. So I could say that, oh, these guys don't really like my class. And I think maybe uh, they are with hands now having a party. I think he told them <laughs> a party is, is a nicer thing. Mm, they don't like my class. And you know what? I think they actually don't respect me. So, so this, is, this is what I'm telling myself. I came, nobody is here. Well, I thought this, the class should be here at that time. I put the effort, I'm here. So this is where I am telling myself the story. And after I keep on telling my, myself the story along that line, what do you think I'll feel after few minutes. I, I feel very bad, right? I feel sad. I feel that my students don't like me. They prefer the party with hands to my class. They don't respect me. And it's going to be very bad. Alternatively, I could say, 
oh, maybe they, there is a mistake in the timetable. I think everyone is actually waiting for me now in a different place. Let me go and check at the office. Where is the, the new venue? Maybe there is a new venue. I, I think I need to rush and make sure that I am there. You, you, do, do you see how this will motivate me differently? Now, for everything that happens to us, we will always ask, why is this happening to me? Why me? Why now? Why today? And there is an opportunity for us somehow to tell ourselves a positive story. So if you can change the storyline and you are the storyteller to yourself, then there is a huge opportunities for you to motivate uh, yourself. Any comment or question about this part? So always tell a positive story. That's the message that I am um, telling you here. Today, I really would like to wrap the, the self-awareness part so that maybe uh, starting next week, we talk more about the self-management so that we can also move into the relation, uh, relation, uh, relational awareness and social awareness. So the other parts that I really wanted to put some effort on is to talk about accurate self-assessment. Now, have you heard of the term SWOT? S-W-O-T. So SWOT refers to strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And this is a very standard way to assess individuals, organizations, companies, families. So if you want to know where do you stand individually or as a family or as a university or as a company, you could do what we call a SWOT analysis. Now, I've created uh, uh, an alternative to the term SWOT because uh, I thought the weakness and the threat are rather negative terminology, so I changed them with a bit more positive uh, terminology. So the SWOT, uh, the, the SOAC, S-O-A-C analysis that I'm proposing looks like this. So is, if everything along this column, these two quadrants, refer to self, to you, and everything, sorry, drop my mic. I'm too excited. So everything here refers to self. Everything here refers to external, the environment. So here is you, your physical health, your mental health, your knowledge, anything that's with you. And here, anything that is external to you in the environment. Now, these two quadrants or this, this row refers to anything that benefits you. So anything that is in you that is beneficial to you. And here, anything that is in the environment that is beneficial to you. Here, anything that is in you that could harm you, that is not so positive to you. And here, anything that is external in the environment that could harm you. So, in the previous uh, terminology, this is called strengths. These are called weaknesses. And here, called opportunities. And here is called threats. So I've changed these two from naming them as weaknesses to areas of, for development. So these are areas that you know you could develop yourself in. And the threats, I just named them challenges. So these are environmental things outside you, you cannot control, but could affect you, uh, could harm you. So I give you, I give you an example. If I want to have a a basketball team for, for the school. OK? 
Okay, so I want to pick a basketball team for the school. Who do you think should be my first pick? Cash. Okay, stand up, Cash. You, you raise your hand. Yeah, you stand up, you stand up. Stand up? Yeah, you, you also raise your hand, right? Okay, you stand up. Don't stand on anything. Stand on it. Okay, can you stand up as well? Okay, oh, you, stay, you, stay, you, you, you stay there. You stay there, okay? Okay, take, take, take a good look of them. So if I want, if I want to select, select people to play basketball, <laughs> right? Please sit down. Thank you very much. Sit down. Thank you. So, so, so his height, his height is a strength. In that context, is a strength. Your, your arm is a strength? Do you want to, do you want to, okay, so let's have a challenge between you and him and see who is, we want to do that? Oh, okay, he chickened out. Yes, okay, it's okay. Yeah. Great. So, so his height in that context is, is, is a strength. Now, if I want to, so, so that would be here. So this is something into him that is beneficial to him. Now, if I, if I am to build our racing team, his height becomes a weakness, becomes, and this is not even an area for development, unfortunately, because you cannot make him smaller. So, so because the, the space available within the car is so small, people of that height don't qualify. So within the context that we are talking about, sometimes a strength could be a weakness or an area for development or vice versa. So this, 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 this uh, analysis is meaningful within the context that we are all looking at. Um, how many of you speaks here, speaks two languages? Everyone. Three. Three languages. Four. Four languages. Five? Five languages. Five? Five, okay. So you guys speak five, so what languages do you speak, Hans? One second, you speak in the throat of the mic. English, French, Mauritian Creole. Uh, I can understand like partly Spanish and some Indian language I can understand and speak. Right. Uh, what, la uh, see, what languages do you speak? This guy here. Please listen, listen. English, Malay, Mandarin, Hokkien, Cantonese. Right. <laughs> so, so three, three Chinese dialects. Okay, good. Now, 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 le please, please listen to me. Please listen to me. Please listen to me. So if there is, if there is a job opening now, they say, uh, we want someone to work in China. I'm sure that, and we want an engineer who can speak both Mandarin and English reading and writing, straight away, you will have an advantage. This becomes uh, uh, a strength for you, okay? So these are the things that, they are within you. You already have them, and they are beneficial. Now, there are things that, within you, within me, but they are actually not beneficial. So this could be, for example, I am overweight. Okay, example, I'm not saying I'm overweight, it's for example, okay? So if I'm overweight, this could be detrimental for me. This is, this is something that could harm me. It's in me, no one has imposed this on me, but it's in me, it could harm me. Uh, I may have some health issues. So I've given you examples of strengths, things that are in me or in you that is useful to me or to you. And things that are in us, yet they, are, they could harm us. They could be an obstacle against us achieving our objectives in life. We call them, in the traditional framework, weaknesses, but I opt to call them areas for 
development. So if I am, let's say, I have some health issues, so there is an opportunity for me to seek maybe medication. If I am overweight, it's an opportunity for me to go on a healthy diet or to start exercising or things like that. These are things related to me, both physically, relationally, uh, uh, emotionally, mentally, and, and the like. Now, there are things that are external. They are in the environment. And if this thing that's happening in the environment is beneficial to the individual, then this is called an opportunity, and we need to be aware of that. If it is not that beneficial or harmful, then in the traditional framework, we call it a threat, but here I call it a challenge, which is slightly more uh, a positive kind of word to describe it. So I want you guys to give me an example of an opportunity. So something that's external that may benefit you or benefit someone. That's a question. So I want an example here. You want to try? Do you understand the question? Okay, I'll repeat the question slowly. So I want example of something that is in the environment, so it's external, yet could be beneficial to you, let's say. I don't know what does mean beneficial. Oh, 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 what does, okay. Uh, this is something good for you. Something that is good for you, but it's not because you are tall or you, something happened outside, suddenly this is good for you. Hans, can you give us an example? Then we try to. Okay, so so can you take the mic? Yes. For example, today Alex met somebody who was giving card for Red Bull, and he said like, if you like partying, I say yeah, we like partying, and so he said any time you go to a club, just call him. We're gonna have free Red Bull, so it's an opportunity for me if I'm going to buy a drink and getting free Red Bull to drink with. Right, so this is something that has just so happened by the presence of a representative of Red Bull, and yeah. then you took advantage over that. So this is not because the way you look or uh, your haircut, uh, they just so happened it's in the environment and was beneficial to you, and you like Red Bull. Yeah. Sure. And I am who I am, whatever yes, I am. Yes, yes, so yes. It doesn't matter if I look good or black tie or anything, Right. people should talk to me. That's right. Yes. That's my point. Yeah. Thank well, you. I fully agree with you. So this is something that is, has nothing to do with you. Yeah. It's happened course. in the environment, but it just so happened it's beneficial to you. Of course. I'm now, money. now let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. So we take the same example. This guy is giving free Red Bull uh, uh, card. So if you are, and God forbid, uh, just for the sake of, of uh, discussion, yeah. let's say you are diabetic. So you have diabetes, and you know Red Bull has a lot of sugar. sugar yeah. Is this an opportunity? You know, this guy is giving free drinks. Well, I have like both factors. Like one factor, the positive aspect, like we save money, you get free Red Bull. And yes. the negative factors, like you have diabetes, so yes. you can't have it. Yeah, so, so for you, if you were... But mm. I can have it and give it to my friend at the club. Right, so okay, like great, great. So, so, so this is, but this would be maybe more an opportunity for someone else rather than you. But it's, it's something happened in the environment could yeah. be y useful to you. Of course, yeah. Sure. Now, now this, is, this is an interesting thing because it, it happens at a variety of levels. So it can happen at the individual level. Uh, uh, and it can happen at the country level. So for example, beside you guys, who, uh, who else is, okay, so uh, you, your parents send you money? Yes. yes. Okay, can you can take this? 
So, 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 so you get money uh, like US dollar or? Uh, I have visa. Visa it is. Uh, right. I have uh, gi get uh, anything, ringgit, vi uh, dollar. Sure. So, 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 so let's say, let's say if for whatever reason, whatever reason, the exchange rate now is 3.5 ringgit to one US dollar. Let's say it's around that. So for whatever reason, something happened and the exchange rate become one US dollar, 10 ringgit. Suddenly you become very happy. This is an opportunity, something happened in the environment that you will benefit from. So that becomes an opportunity for you. Yes. For the same amount of money, when you yes, bring yes. to this country, you have more money. So this is, you had nothing to do with it. Something outside happened in the economy and suddenly you benefit from this. Yes. So this becomes what? An opportunity. Uh, okay. Now, likewise, likewise, if I take the opposite, so if for whatever reason, the uh, one US dollar become two ringgit. So suddenly the fees that it you pay to us becomes very high. Bad for me. So that's bad for you, so yes. that becomes a challenge. Now, for you, individually, you didn't do anything. You are still the same person, but something changed in the environment that is now, in the traditional way, we say it's a threat or is a challenge for you. Yes. Okay, does it make sense? I understand it. Good. So now, what I would like you guys to do, I would like you to individually work on the SOAK framework for yourself. So let's say you are here wanting to finish your foundation in one year, join the degree, have a very good CGPA. Can I presume that you are here for this reason? Yes. Okay. Meanwhile, you would like to have uh, fun, be different, dream big, build your robot, and, and this is a very interesting period of, 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 your, of, your, uh, of your life. So I want you on a piece of paper, maybe not a piece of paper, on your iPad, to develop this uh, strength, opportunities, areas of development, and challenges for you personally. And I will, together with the rest of my uh, Colleagues, we will come and speak to you. So I'll give you 10 minutes. Yeah. Is the assignment clear? Cash, is it clear? Yeah. So the external part is something in the environment that happens that either benefits you or harms you. that you yourself, uh, um, you, you need to think differently or behave differently to, to actually make, benefit, make use of, out of it. So I give, you, I give you an example. I give you an example. Uh, do you remember the haze? Were you here when Malaysia has haze? Okay. So this haze, can you do anything about it, you personally? Okay, so the haze is, some people in Indonesia are burning their uh, forest for, to develop it to, to, to plant palm oil or more lucrative crops. This haze comes to both Singapore and Malaysia. We actually have nothing. I mean, I personally have nothing to stop it. It just affects me. It affects the quality of my life. It affects the health of my family. Now, where do you think I would put this? Now, I want you all to pay attention. So there is haze. It's coming our way. There's no way for me to stop it. Is this here or here? Challenges. So challenges. Now, can I convert the haze into an opportunity? How? Yes, uh, uh, the mic, please. Yeah. 
Yes. So, my, so you said yes, right? I can convert the haze into an opportunity. You said yes. Can you tell us how? So, so she says, if you use this as an opportunity to leave the country, go somewhere else, and have holiday. OK. Yeah, speak into the mic, yes. Yeah, you don't have to attend classes during the day. Right. For a few days. Right. So you just can rest at home. So you can get rest at home because the, the school closes. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe you even leave the country and live somewhere where you don't know. Hey, so that's an opportunity if you can afford it. Yes, very good thinking. What else we can do to convert this into an opportunity? Sell face mask. Sell face mask. Yes. So now, that's actually exactly right. So those who are selling face masks made a lot of money from this. So this is how something that the guy who sells the face mask or the guy who, the people who manufacture uh, these air purifying technology had nothing to do with it. But it became something that, a change in the environment, external, directly external to them, and it becomes an opportunity. So that, does that make it clear? Something happens outside that either benefits you or harms you. And it depends on where you stand. So now, now my, my exercise to you, I'll just want to repeat again in case you didn't hear me well. I presume that you are here wanting to finish your qualification within a year, get a very good CGPA, hopefully get a scholarship for your uh, degree. Now, within this, what are the strengths that you have? Something new that will help you achieve that goal. What are the benefits, uh, sorry, what are the areas of development? Something that's within you that could actually be an obstacle that would prevent you achieving your goal. And externally, what would be an opportunity for you that will help you achieve your goal or maybe a challenge that will make it a bit more difficult for you to achieve your goal, which is to finish your qualification within a year, get a, a, a good CGPA, and progress to your uh, course of choice. So I want you to work on that um, individually, and I'll go around and, and help you. If this course is something that you feel is very beneficial to you, did you do anything to include this course in the in, in the curriculum? This is in the environment. You didn't do anything about it. Now, if this is useful to you, then this is an opportunity for you to be aware of yourself, your emotions, and things like that. Now, if you find this course is a total waste of time, but still you have to do it because it's a requirement, then this is a challenge because you come here, you don't understand why I'm forcing you to do meditation, you don't understand what, why are you doing that, and this sounds like a total waste of time. So this is a challenge. How do you go around it? Does it make sense? Yeah. yeah. So, so there are, and, and you always think of things that are happening around you, whether in the class or in the university or in the city, in the country, within your family. So is it something that is just happening that suddenly becomes yeah. So, so, so for example, if tomorrow there is um, 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 an Urdu poetry uh, competition, suddenly this is something you didn't do anything about. You become a very popular guy, and maybe there are only few of you who can speak that. D d does it make sense? Yes. Yeah. So it's like, let's say now we're studying. Yes. The class is noisy. So is that a challenge for us? So is it, uh, but that, you, okay, okay. What is the thing that you are trying to achieve? I didn't, what I said is for you to complete this course within a year and achieve a good CGPA. So this is a bit, a bit more than whether this class is noisy or, I mean, a bit higher, a higher end kind of thing. But if you think, for example, the, high, the noise level in the university is very high, then that's a, if that's a challenge for you, then it's a challenge. You, 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 you get me? Yeah. Okay. I'll just go around so those who have, uh, who feel that they are fine, I, I'm, I'm, I'll be okay. But I will ask you to submit through open learning eventually. 
yeah, okay. yeah. But what I'm trying to say here is if you are having a question or something that's not clear to you, maybe you could just ask me so that I could help you. So what, what, what have you written, for example? So that's that's your strength. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. I like making new friends. Sure. Um, okay. My weakness is I'm actually lack of confidence. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you you feel that lack of confidence is what? Uh, the weakness area. Of so you see you see the difference when you say weakness is as if like you are. You cannot do anything about it. I'm weak. I cannot do anything about it. Yeah. But if you see this as an area of development, next time people, if someone asks you, so what do you want to do differently? What do you want to improve in yourself? You could say, I would like to improve my self-confidence. So it's, it's a different thing. Okay, so that's internal. Um, external part? Why? I don't think any. Well, my opportunities is making new friends, especially in college, so I learn to break free from being shy right. and quiet. Right. My challenges is traffic jam. <laughs> right. Okay. So that so, so I cannot do anything about it. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now you agree. Yeah. So so you you have the same challenge. Now now I, I want you to think a bit a bit more. Um, You have, I've, I've seen in open learning quite a number of you quite grateful for your teachers. So you, 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 do you have a good set of teachers? Okay. Now, did you notice that, um, you know, like people like Siva, he's actually a PhD holder. Uh, he's a chartered engineer. You know, um, we, we actually have selected a highly qualified group of people and we move them from the degree to the foundation. Now, this is not the natural, the traditional way of doing the foundation. And we do this for a reason, because we believe that you are the future. You are so important for us. Now, do you think this is an opportunity? The fact that you study in a place where you have engineers who are teaching you your physics and your, uh, your mathematics and your engineering part. So you, you should see this as an opportunity, because when you see it as an opportunity, then you will be able to capitalize on it. Just like the guy who saw the haze as an opportunity and starts selling mask, you get what I mean? But if you, do, if you just say, oh, where is the opportunity? Then you don't see it. Then you could literally go through this, not realizing that there are this, this, you have very experienced people who could actually help you. And now looking at your area of development, which is the self-confidence. Now, do you think this course, which is emotional intelligence, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we could be the only school in the world that teaches emotional intelligence in a systematic way to the engineering students like this. Yes. Do you think this is an opportunity? Yes. yes. You see, that's actually, you see that when you see it as an opportunity, things will become very different. Because if I say, wow, this is an opportunity, what do you want to do? You want to grab it. But if you just say, emotional intelligence whatever, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> then you don't but you see this is maybe the first and last time when you move to the degree no one teaches you that it just so happened that we have the space for this and we felt that so this is an opportunity for you to even achieve your 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 uh, oh, developmental okay. needs so this is how you 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 build things yeah, does it, does it make sense now? Yeah. So the environment do, does have opportunities and it does have challenges. The thing is, can we convert the challenges into opportunities? So it's the same, this, my, this haze, it's affecting my health, that's, that's a fact. Affecting my family, that's a fact. But if I want to sell face mask, this is the make best money. time and you'll make money out of yeah. that. Likewise, do you recall when the SARS, yeah. SARS, yeah, yeah, yeah. what was the best, hot, best selling item in the country? Face mask. Face mask. And oh, ah, sanitizer. sanitizer. Do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> everyone, what become, and, and those people who say, yeah, because everyone is doing it, every company is buying it, every, and in, in, in bulk. So this become, 
an opportunity for a certain industry, whether you like it or not. So the key thing is awareness. Because if I'm not aware that this is an opportunity, I will never grab it. If I'm not aware that this is a challenge, I will never be, work on it. Likewise, if I'm not aware that this is an area for development, then I will never be able to work on it. So that's key. Awareness is such an important stage. If, you are, if you, I'm not aware, then nothing can be done. Does it make sense? So I, please try to, to, to look deeper. And um, if parking is the challenge, then parking is the challenge. If the traffic jam is the challenge, the traffic jam is a challenge. Yeah. OK? OK. Uh, so for strengths, just for me personally, yes. um, very proactive. For yes. me personally, I'm a very proactive person. Sure. So I like to go out and do uh, do things that I feel yep. I should do. <coughs> Sorry. And mm. the things that I do do, I'm very confident in what I do. And also, I've already made good relationships with people around the uni and outside of uni and relationships and whatnot. So that'll be able to help me score the good GPA that I want to get. Uh, areas of development, I am weak in chemistry. Hmm. And I've acknowledged that, so now I've already, I'm going out of my way to make me better in chemistry. Good, good, good. Um, opportunities, they're good learning facilities here, like the library. Um, the hmm. lectures, are, lectures are great. Um, everything else, whatnot. Yeah, lectures, as I said. And e-learning is good as well. Like, on the iPad, you got all the iBooks, you don't have to carry around all the Big, big right. heavy modules good. and whatnot. Good. Challenges. Um, maybe language barriers. Right. Yeah. That's probably the accent not the same. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The accent, nobody can understand. Yeah. Something. I've found it with a couple of my lecturers. Mm. I've found it hard to communicate with them. Right. Sometimes. I see. So so this is this is wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. So if we really if, if this is an accurate mm. assessment then you would know that there are some good facilities here. You and, and you know, there's a reason why we call this an opportunity. Because yeah. when you say this is an opportunity, what is the nature of the opportunity? It's limited in time, yeah. it's available only for a certain, for a certain yeah. period of time or, or it's only in a certain place. And when I say this is an opportunity, you say, grab it. Yeah. Because you Sorry. feel like, let me take, care, let, let me take advantage of it. It's something that is precious so and, and it's wonderful that you've identified like we have a good library we have a good learning environment because the moment you become like whatever you know yeah yeah but then you will you will actually life yeah. will go by and then you won't realize until you've lost it yeah, for whatever exactly. reason so that's that's great now if you look at the 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 lower part so Acknowledging that chemistry is something that you need to work on is great. So now at least you, you are aware. It's not like, and not I like really I'm oblivious to it. Like yes. Like some people do some courses and they say later. Some people do courses and they say later. I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I doing this engineering course? Why well, I shouldn't be here? Right. I'm just doing that. Right. But when it's too late. Right. After three or years. Right. Yeah. Just a second. Uh, are you with me? Okay. Yeah. The other thing that, uh, that I found uh, really, really interesting is someone would say the, um, the uh, chemistry is a challenge yeah. because I have a bad chemistry yeah, teacher. No, but I think yeah. that's really, really good that you say, I, am, yeah. I have this issue with chemistry. It's me. Yeah. I've acknowledged it and I'll put an effort into it. And this actually frames the mind very, yeah. very differently. Yeah. Because if you, if I put it as, it's the teacher, you know, it's not yeah. me, the teacher is weak. It means I have to do nothing. Yeah. I have to change the teacher. Yeah. And that's actually drives the action in a certain... A, a lot of people, they blame the teacher or the lecturer that they didn't teach them or like they're bad at the subject or something, but really there's a reason why they're a lecturer, they're good at what they do. So they're a lecturer and they're teaching people how to do it. And it's always the students, not always the students' fault, there always has to be some rapport 
the yes. too. Good. Yeah. Good. But Alex, I got a point. Can you a yeah. point against you about the teachers? Sometimes I don't say the teacher is not good. He, he's done his study, got yeah. degrees, yep. PhD, and master. Right. But the way the class is yep. has an impact on us. Yes. Like for example, your class is so interactive. I don't mind if you say like stick here till seven. Right. I will stay. Right. But my chemistry teacher, I won't stick. Right. It's not interactive sure. enough like I want it. Sure. So it could be both uh, yeah. an area for development and a challenge. Yeah. You see, what we really need to do is to it's not only self-assessment, it's accurate self-assessment. Yeah. So if, if, the, if, the, if I look at chemistry, for example, and it's a combination, so you will admit that, look, I, um, sorry, I didn't get to know your name. Alex. Alex. So, so Alex say, look, I think the teacher is not that good, but you know, let, let's face it, I'm, you know, naturally have that issue with chemistry, so, so I also have to do my part. Yeah. But if it's, uh, it's a, the lecturer is good, the, everything is good, but I still, you know, because some weakness in the basics, I have to fix them. So we, once we know that, then the next step is at least, I have headache, I know what to take. I have a, a backache, I know what to do. I have extra weight, I know how to get rid of it. Great, wonderful. So, uh, Strength, opportunities, yeah. areas for development, and challenges. I've said enough. Yes, please. Okay. So, hold on. Okay, so my strengths are friendly, independent, good in playing tennis, and play guitar. You play guitar? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. So, so this is actually just off of uh, of the record. We have an international um, uh, CDIO meeting in uh, 31st October and 1st of November. So we are hosting some international <laughs> delegates. Do you think you could help with the entertainment? Maybe I can. Okay, I'll talk to you about that later. Right, okay, sure. great. So this is really, really a great, great strength, yes. Yes, okay, so <clears> my areas for development is I love to sleep. Okay. Procrastination. Right, okay. Don't like to receive instructions from people. Hmm. I'm not sure that this is something that... So you are independent, because maybe, maybe because you are independent, isn't it? Yeah, mm. Mm. and I'm easily distracted. Hmm. Okay, I think, I, okay, okay. I think, I think it's all about, has to do with self-motivation, isn't it? Yes. Because these signs that you say, distraction, and you don't want to take instructions, these are also signs of the creative people. Mm. Okay. okay. Yeah. So for the opportunity, I mean, for my challenges is mm. traffic jam in the morning. Right. So the opportunities is more time to spend with my dad in the car. Right. Yeah, okay. So I can do more okay. With okay. Him and okay. 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 So the second challenges is I cannot have a lot of money in my hands because I love to spend money. Right. So the opportunities is learn how to manage my um, financial, financial matter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the third one is a lot of beggar around my um, housing area hmm. so well, that's the, an opportunity to be charitable isn't yeah, it yeah be more grateful with what i have mm, mm. so yeah that's all okay so th so this is that you you linked both the opportunities and, and the okay out of out of curiosities um you didn't put anything in the university as an opportunity you know, th this is actually very important. Why? Because when I say there is an opportunity, the frame, the, the mind, the frame uh, of the mind, when I say there is an opportunity, would be you want to take advantage over it. Now, the moment you take things for granted and you think, for example, that whatever you guys have, everyone else has, then it doesn't sound like an opportunity. And then through that, you may start not being grateful or not appreciative of it. And then you may lose it. You know, what's, why, uh, what is the nature of an opportunity? Yeah, so you have to take advantage. So if you are playing soccer, when they say opportunity, this is like really, 
Yeah. So this is really like an opportunity to score. This is not like always there. It's just so happened that the ball is with you, the goal is there, it's the angle is right. So now you have to do it. And if you are late by a few seconds, gone. So, so that's why, uh, because interestingly, the other group, they identified maybe they say there are some good learning facilities here. The e-learning is good. Yeah, these are things that you need to be aware of because if you are, the moment it's off your screen, you won't be taking advantage over them. Okay? Yeah. yeah. You want to say something, Kesh? Yeah. I, my strengths are um, friendly, doing handwork, making stuff, and good in sports, hockey, especially hockey. Mm. And then my area of development is lack of concentration. Right. And I can see that. <laughs> I have to agree with you. Yeah. Challenges are lazy to wake up. So, so this is like an external thing, you know, the challenge is something in the environment. Yeah. And then, uh, last no, easy for no reason. No, but this is, this is, is this a, you see the challenge is what is in the environment, not, ex is an external thing. So sleeping and laughing, is it external or internal? Internal. I think, I think a lot of things come into contact. Yeah. I think when you're talking about this sort of things, a lot of things come into context, like maybe he can't wake up in the morning due to the fact that it's cold in his room and it's very comfortable around him, you know what I mean? Right. And maybe when he says that he laughs easily, maybe his friends are always joking around and he's, he, he, he comes into that nature of which he, he just laughs at very random things. So I think a lot of things come into context yes. when, we, when we think about this yes. sort of challenges and this opportunity. Yeah. So. Yep. So, so within that context, we need to, because if you read what I'm trying to achieve there, it's called accurate self-assessment. So that's, that's very important to be accurate when we assess where we are. Yes, yes, so if you see laughing as a challenge, this is, means something you need to do something about it because it's non-beneficial. But maybe the way you are describing it now is more like an opportunity. So you, his, he has a very good group of friends that are making him having fun. I think somehow it can be a challenge, but at the same time it can be an opportunity. Then again it comes back to the mindset of the person. Right. How they how they look at it. Like let's say if I would take it as an opportunity to be happy, yes. But as a challenge, like when I'm trying to study and they're still joking around. So I guess it really depends on the person's mindset sure. on how they really look at the situation sure. as well. Sure. So if you are given a choice, would you like to laugh less? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, based on his mindset, I would say it's more of a challenge than opportunity because it comes back to the mindset. Right. Okay. Well, it's very easy. Next class, sit in front. <laughs> and don't sit next to her. You seem to be really a very good friends. You keep on talking. Don't look there. It's you and her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Your face is red. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, yes. Thank you very much. So, uh, so this is, uh, to me, I think we've spent uh, enough time on, uh, on the uh, self-awareness. Now, when I say we spend enough time, it doesn't mean we are going to stop working on self-awareness. Self-awareness is a journey. And no matter how self-aware you become, there is still more to do. So I would invite you to continue and you will need to continue doing two things on a daily basis so these are things that I expect that you'll continue doing until the end of the semester and hopefully when you see the value that comes from them you'll continue doing them even after the semester ends so this would be brain rewiring and my emotions today so this has to continue so today we have introduced the concept of the uh, SOAK, that's the strengths, the opportunities, the areas for development, and the challenges. Now, I would like you to put that in a proper format, whatever format, handwritten, you call, or, or, or computer. You convert it into a PDF, write your name on it, and you will need to submit it through open learning. So every one of us, will have that document for 
him or herself so that I could have a look at it and they maybe give you advice. Now, this doesn't mean this is set in stone. As you move on, you will revise it. You will, you will improve it. You will, as, as you become more aware of yourself and as you develop yourself further, uh, and as the environment changes, so as the environment changes, the opportunities that you have and the challenges that you face may change as well. So as usual, I will end the, the class with the, with the reflective questions. So what did you learn today? And what will you do differently? And uh, I would like you to, if you, if you want to say something here, you can say it. If you like to tweet that, please do. And again, the same question will be asked at, at the quiz in, on open learning, so you will need to do that as well. So we will take a couple of minutes to do that, and then we will uh, share something interesting with you, and then you guys can, can go. Yes? Is it the same, uh, what, the same the topic? What is that, sorry? That same topic we need to do in the PDF form? The, exactly this. Exactly this. Yes, yeah. We just uh, type in the computer. Or even this, if you want, take a picture of it, convert it to PDF, and send it to and me. Submit uh, on my emotion studio or brand new one? No, no, no. I will create a specific submission for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for sorry for for this one for the uh, so guys guys again I, I received the question so I think I let me share with you. Uh, every time I will put the in, under lectures and activities so there will be a video of this lecture there will be a quiz and I will create a, a, a form for you to submit your uh, self-assessment uh, matrix so don't put it in brain rewiring or I will create a very specific uh, form you could just take, if you, if you are happy with whatever you've done, you could just take a picture of it and submit it. That's also, that, that will do. Okay? Any, any, any question about the submission, please, so that you don't put it in the wrong place? Okay, uh, this will be up in a few days. So once it's up, you, you just submit. Yes, yeah. Yes, I'll make an announcement. Yes, yeah, there's a question here. The due date, I'll make an announcement. So this will happen after we finish editing the lecture and upload it so both you guys and the online students have the, so because I'm not very sure when will, normally it's by Sunday, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, li listen to me again. So what I want is your strengths, opportunities, areas of development, and challenges. Now, you can do it as this, take a, make a PDF of this. You can write it in PowerPoint. You can have this, take a picture using your iPad, convert it to PDF and, and load it to me. You can use whatever you want, provided at the end of the day, it's legible and I can read it. Does it make sense? Yes. Clear? Okay, yes. great. Okay, so uh, then I think with this, I'll, I'll end this part of the class. Thank you very much. And um, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Great, thanks. <laughs>